thank you, Cindy, not only for that exceedingly kind introduction, but for your truly exceptional work as the chair of the Board of Directors for the Maine Tourism Association. I could not be more honored that you nominated me to receive the 2012 Chairman's Award. As the co-owner and operator of the renowned inns at Blackberry Common in Camden with your husband, Jim, you thoroughly understand all that's at heart of our tourism industry. And as an aside, from what I hear, a stay at one of your inns is an experience a second to none. I'd also like to thank the Tourism Association's esteemed CEO, Vaughn Stinson, who's been absolutely phenomenal in unifying Maine's diverse tourism interests and in promoting all that our magnificent state has to offer. Thank you, Vaughn. As we all know, the significance of the tourism industry for our state and our nation simply cannot be overstated. Travel and tourism together represent one of the largest industries throughout the country, producing about $1.9 trillion in economic output with approximately $812 billion spent directly by travelers. And that's not to mention the additional $1 trillion that tourism directly stimulates within other industries. In Maine alone, tourism accounts for nearly $7.7 billion of economic activity per year and plays a truly indispensable role in ensuring the health and vitality of our state's economy. The Maine Tourism Association, comprised of 1,600 businesses and growing, has been nothing short of extraordinary in promoting Maine as a prime vacation destination. And despite the dismal economic environment and great uncertainty for travelers, each of you has achieved solid successes, finding creative methods to enhance the already abounding appeal of our state and always striving tirelessly to make Maine more accessible and more affordable for any and all who are interested in enjoying our myriad attractions. Now, if only Congress worked half as hard as you do and produced anywhere near your results, then we would really be on to something. In all seriousness, though, much like the Tourism Association, and often in conjunction with it, I have steadfastly fought the federal level to open Maine's doors even wider to travelers from across the country and around the globe, whether securing funding to save the Downeaster or improve the quality of our roadways, advocating for a passenger bill of rights to facilitate a more enjoyable flying experience, or protecting and preserving one of our most prized gems in Acadia National Park. And make no mistake, I am wholeheartedly committed to doing all that I can to bring people to our wonderful state. In closing, I want to express to all of you just what a profound privilege it has been to represent the people of Maine and the state that I love. I'm filled with immense gratitude for the chance to make a difference over the last four decades, and it's been a true pleasure to work with the Tourism Association throughout the years. As you all know so well, Tourism is about people, and above all, the fact is and will always remain that Maine is the way life should be because of wonderful individuals like you who, with our hallmark work ethic and can-do spirit, are dedicated to sharing the beauty and splendor of our great state. Whether it's our iconic coastline or our over 500,000 acres of national state parks, we have much to be proud of here in vacation land, or as we are so fortunate to say, here at home. Again, thank you so much for this tremendous honor, for your remarkable work, and I could not be more grateful for all that you have done and continue to do on behalf of Maine. Thank you.